We're winding down our month-long series of amazing kids as we highlighted the talented youth of the Bay Area. But May isn't over yet, and that means neither are our amazing kids. Joining me now to discuss her talents is visual artist Zara. Zara, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in thank the Bay. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Thank yes, you. Of course. Now, when it comes to being a visual artist, Zara, can you break down what exactly that means for our viewers? So. A visual artist is a painter or a sculptor, anything that has to do with art making. Yeah. And and, and, you're, and you pre a lot of times, especially you, something that you like to do, you do your talents live, correct? Yes, yes. I recently did a live painting event um, with a fellow classmate of mine. It turned out great. It was my first ever um, live painting. and. It was a great experience. I had a great time just painting. Well, I love that. And we'll get to that experience in just a bit, but let's kind of rewind here for a second. When did you first realize that you wanted to become an artist or it was just one of your gifts? Yeah, I, so in Montessori school, I was like about four, um, just doing crafts, you know, just like small fun things. Um, that was just amazing for me. and. I just enjoyed it so much that I told my mom and my dad, I was like, hey, I want to go to art camps. Like, I just want to continue this. And so ever since then, I just, I just been into art. And mm -hmm. I feel like since I was a little girl, just drawing for fun, that's when I just found my love for art. That's and awesome just, too. you know, getting mm -hmm. other like camps and stuff. Well, that's great. so wonderful. And we're actually taking a look at some of your paintings now. Just absolutely talented you are. I, I love seeing some of these pieces. And actually, you just recently came off in 2022, this past summer, you came off um, an internship. Can you yes. tell me a little bit about that art internship and yes. what that experience was like for you? Yeah, so I had an internship at MOAD um, last summer. Um, I sent in my application. I sent in some photos of my artwork, and I got in. And we learned how to do podcasts and, you know, mm -hmm. just pretty much work with a group of other kids and artists. Um, we had to interview other artists like Naeem Brown. And, um, yeah, so we just had to record and we learned the recording process and, like, the... Um, you know, just like talking. Yeah, that makes sense. And speaking of the process, I'd love to talk about this painting that you're actually doing for us live today. Like I said, she started on this today, everybody. So yeah. uh, you're gonna make sure and finish that today as well. Oh, yeah. But what's it like for you, that process of having to paint live, especially? Um, it's, it's a great process. It's a little stressful sometimes, cause you know, you gotta think about your surroundings, how much time you have. But um, me, I just love painting, it's not, too hard for me. Um, just having support, my mother around, you know, uh -huh. helping assist me. It's it's just great for me. And kind of a cool connection here, but we, in, in this past month, we had another uh, amazing kid. His name was Ayo. He came on the show. He's a saxophonist. I'm not yes. sure if our viewers remember or not, but something cool, you actually did a live painting of Ayo while he was playing jazz, correct? Yes, I did. Um, a photo was taken of Ayo a while ago. And that's and it, actually. We're yeah, gonna that is it. it. Um, yeah, I used a reference the whole time. So I just mixed up some blacks and brown. Um, I didn't finish it all on the same day of the live event, um, but I got in the features mm -hmm. and all that, but that was a great experience. It was my first ever. Many more to come, though. Yeah. So, well, yeah. You're so talented. Thank and you. I have to ask you, for so many kids who probably look up to you, want to be an artist like you one day, what is one piece of advice you would provide to them? Keep going. Don't stop at all. You need to speak to people in the art community, having, um, hearing other voices, talking to other people, getting yourself out there is a big way of succeeding in the art world. It's like such a small area for young kids. Um, yeah, I just say put yourself out there. Make sure your artwork is seen, you mm -hmm. know? Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Zara. It has been such a pleasure. And again, we're going to uh, stick with you because I know yes. you still have some painting to do, but we oh, appreciate yeah. you here on Live in the Bay. Thank you so much. Of course. You can find all of our amazing kids by heading to our website at liveinthebay.tv and just click on that Amazing Kids tab.
Another big thanks to Lagarza Kids for sponsoring our amazing kids series. And just because May is coming to a close, that doesn't mean that we don't still want to see your amazing kids. So go ahead and scan that QR code to get your amazing kid featured on Live in the Bay.